You're watching BBC News, the latest headlines in the UK and around the world. Conditions at a migrant processing centre in Kent are described as wretched as a watchdog calls on the UK Home Office to get a grip of the situation. The Immigration Minister admits action is needed. What we have to do at Manston is ensure that it returns to a, a well-run, compassionate, humane site which can manage around one to 2,000 individuals. At the moment, it's got significantly more than that. The British Treasury has told the BBC is it is inevitable that everyone will need to pay more tax in the years ahead and warns of tough decisions. South Korea's chief of police admits crowd control in the area of Seoul where 156 people died in a crush was inadequate. The Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is to visit Morbi in the western state of Gujarat where more than 140 people died after a bridge collapsed on Sunday. Oil giant BP announces profits of about $8.2 billion, £7 billion, between July and September, almost triple the figure for the same period last year. And the Brazilian leader Jair Bolsonaro is expected to address the nation today for the first time since losing the presidential runoff to his left wing rival Lula da Silva. Hello and welcome to the programme if you're watching in the UK or indeed around the world. The Chief Inspector of Prisons for England and Wales says the UK government must get a grip on a migrant processing centre in Kent. A report published today says back in July the facility at Manston was working reasonably well, despite a number of risks, but it says since then it has deteriorated significantly, with conditions being described as wretched. Meanwhile, the Home Secretary, Suela Braverman, has been accused of using inflammatory language about migrants. Uh, she talked about an invasion on our southern coast. Uh, uh, and uh, she also told MPs that the current asylum system was broken and illegal migration was out of control. Labour accused Suela Braverman of being unfit for office, while one refugee charity called the Home Secretary's comments indefensible follows that uh, criticism of uh, conditions at Manston Processing Centre, an independent inspection in July, found it was well equipped and professionally run, but found issues like a lack of beds and no access to fresh air or exercise. Well, today the Chief Inspector of Prisons told the BBC the situation had significantly deteriorated and said the Home Office and contractors need to get a grip. Almost 40,000 people have crossed the channel in small boats this year. 46 made the crossing yesterday. Uh, many people coming by boat claim asylum. They should be told if they can stay in the UK within six months. Figures, though, show more than 70% of applicants haven't heard back in that time. The Immigration Minister, Robert Jenrick, says the government is working hard to make things better. <laughs> 